Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, May 11th, 2012. We begin with a story from the world of physics. A lab in France has managed to generate self-bending light beams. Now, this may sound impossible considering that the light generally seems to travel in a straight line. However, scientists have known for several years that bending light beams is possible. A pattern can be imposed on the beam of light so that the individual rays of light interfere with each other, causing the bend. Currently, these beams are only a few micrometers across and have been bent up to 10 degrees. A separate team in Israel analyzed the theoretical principle behind these bending lasers and found that it's technically possible to have lasers that bend a full 180 degrees. Back in France, they worked with the technical component and managed to get an impressive 60 degree bend in a beam. Now, more than just being awesome, these curved beams have a number of applications. The French scientists already use theirs to carve glass, and further development could lead to enhanced rapid prototyping. Next is a quick update from the world of nanotechnology. MIT researchers have developed a new kind of glass with some interesting properties. The surface is nanotextured to almost completely eliminate glare and make the glass self-cleaning. Adapting a technique from the semiconductor industry, they were able to make the glass surface covered in tiny cones. Hopefully, a simpler and cheaper process could be used to simply press this pattern into semi-molten glass. If practical, this glass would have a wide variety of applications because despite their delicate appearance, this nanotexture can actually withstand some pressure. One important application is solar panels, which lose efficiency as they get dirty, but that wouldn't be any issue with this glass. Obviously, there are numerous other applications, such as glare-free screens and windows, as well as lenses that can be used in humid conditions. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.